Joseph Parker. <laughs> Oops. Up off net. Up off net. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Don't. All right, man, look. Is Jamar Charlo docking Andre and Lou DeBella? Is he proving that Wilder ducked Anthony Joshua? Oops! Hi, man! No! Let's get to the video. Let's first talk about Lou DeBella. Now, show business partner's been hitting me up for the past, you know, day and a half. You have uh, links being sent to me uh, to Seconds Out, uh, where Eddie Hearn proves that Charlo is ducking Andre, and then links to the IFL TV interview with Lou DeBella, speaking on Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder, firing him because he was just trying to make the deal with DeZone and Anthony Joshua. Joseph Parker. Oh, which reminds me, did you guys see Joseph Parker demonstrating his radioactive activity? My spider senses are starting to tingle. <laughs> Hands like a middleweight. Let's get to the video. All right, man, look. Now, I, Lou DeBella saying what he said about uh, uh, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, him saying that he was fired by Deontay Wilder just because he was trying to make the fight with Anthony Joshua. Here's how I feel about that, okay? I don't need to know any more about that the zone deal with Deontay Wilder, Anthony. I know Deontay Wilder ducked the deal. He ducked. If you don't know Deontay Wilder ducked that the zone deal, then you're just you're just being biased, okay? I mean, honestly, the guy ducked that deal. Now, who ducked the first time and stuff like that? I mean, maybe, okay, maybe it's one for one. Maybe Anthony Joshua ducked him the first time. I, I don't. I what I do know for sure is that. That the zone deal, Deontay Wilder ducked it. Now, Lou DeBella saying that he was fired because he was just trying to, I don't know. I wasn't in the room. I, I'm, we're hearing from his perspective. Maybe Shelly Finkel and them has an entirely different perspective. Okay, I don't know. But I guess this is all just to win the argument who ducked who. And really, I'm not really about that argument. I think it's obvious that the 150 million or 120 million or however much it was that the zone deal to, for Deontay Wilder to take on Anthony Joshua, I think Deontay Wilder, he himself is like, why didn't I take that again? I mean, especially after Anthony Joshua lost, Andy Ruiz comes right in and knocks him out. I'm just saying, we can push that behind us now. Okay, let's, let's try to make the fight happen. You know, I mean... I, I think Deontay Wilder, I'm not sure if, I don't think he fears Anthony Joshua, okay? Uh, the, the guy who pushed him to his limit, he's fighting again. Both of the guys who pushed him to his limit actually in a fight, Ortiz and Tyson Fury, he fought them twice. He, I mean, he had rematches with both of them, okay? Even Stavern, who lasted the 12 rounds the first time, he fought him again. If you give him trouble in a fight, he will fight you again. So I don't see Deontay Wilder as a person who's afraid of anyone. I'm just saying that whatever he's been advised through Shelly Fink or whatever, it resulted in him avoiding Anthony Joshua for a lot of money. And that fight was going to have it was going to be two fights in that deal. So uh, I, I'm not sure if I even needed the interview with Lou DiBella. OK, like Lou DiBella said, he's answered this a million times. All right, man, look, let's talk about uh, Charlo. Is he ducking Andre? Well, Radio Raheem doing a fantastic job uh, on Seconds Out. Did you see when uh, uh, Eddie Hearn was reaching in his pocket to bring out proof and uh, uh, <laughs> Radio Raheem had the look? He was like, he gave a showbiz adult look. He was just like. <laughs> well, what I'll do is. <laughs> he was like, are you guys getting this? Now, what Eddie Hearn proved is that, 
he is, what he proved to me more than anything is that he is trying to make that fight happen. That's what he proved to me, okay? He's reaching out to Charlo. Charlo hasn't responded. And he's reaching out to try to make the fight happen. Now, Eddie Hearn has gone even further now. Eddie Hearn said that I'm going to up the price. I'm going to up the ante. I'm going to offer him more money without Charlo even negotiating. Charlo hasn't even really negotiated. He just hasn't responded. And Eddie Hearn is like, well, then I offer him more money. You know what? We could do it on Showtime. Eddie Hearn said we can do it on Showtime. Andre, Eddie Hearn and them trying to make the fight. I am a bit surprised by Charlo because Charlo, to me, he's already beat all the other guys. He's done all that. Now it's time to beat the guys, okay? And I think he would love, want to prove himself. I do remember back at, I think like 154, back in the day when Andre had short hair and Andre wasn't really that busy. He had like issues or whatever. He was uh, not really uh, busy in the ring. I remember him bumping heads with Charlo way back then. When do you think we can make that happen? Soon. I mean, soon as your team and uh, you get, you know, your stuff together, you know, I, 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 I'm not dodging anybody. You're undefeated too, right? You know. Oh. The thing with Eddie Hearn was, the PBC, and this is why uh, uh, I was like, well, I don't know if I can confirm this. The PBC said they didn't get an offer. But Eddie Hearn said, well, we didn't, I didn't offer it to you. Why? Because everyone is saying that Charlo is his own boss, that the PBC and Al Heyman are just advisors. They're not promoters. So why the talk? I'm going to uh, uh, send Charlo the, uh, the offer. That, that's a good explanation to me. So I'm satisfied uh, by Eddie Hearn and by Andre. I'm satisfied by them. Now it's up for Charlo to see if he can satisfy us, see if he uh, really wants to fight, meet him halfway, or, uh, you know, get more money and fight on Showtime. But I'm going to tell you what's more valuable than that, the belt, unifying. That's more valuable than everything, and I'm sure that uh, Jamar Charlo wants to be a legend, okay? And this is the way to do it. Showbiz adult. Yeah, I mean, I to me, uh, Deontay Wilder, I don't need to know any more <laughs> proof that he avoided Anthony Joshua in that deal. Uh, but I do think they're going to fight, and I love that idea of the Rumble in the Jungle, too. Uh, that sounds amazing. I'm out. Huh.